All right, other headlines here. Two brothers who are accusing father Michael Flager of sexually abusing them more than 40 years ago are now speaking about it publicly. WGN's Sean Lewis spoke with them and joins us with the latest. Uh, ben Lord is a demand for $20,000, graphic sexual abuse allegations from decades ago in a church community rallying around their leader. All of it occurring today as one of Chicago's best known priests faces for the first time accusations of sexual abuse. It's time for this to come out for me. Sitting in shadow with their attorney nearby. I've been harboring this and holding this in for many a years. The brothers, now in their early 60s, detailed their accusations against Father Michael Flager. Years of graphic abuse that they say would mostly happen at the church rectory during sleepovers, beginning when they were in their early teens. Flager at the time, a young priest at Precious Blood Parish on Chicago's west side and after being assigned to St. Sabina in 1981. The time that really bothered me is I was in his room at Precious Blood. He grabbed my manhood and pulled on it so hard that tore the top skin. My underwear, underwear were full of blood. I got up, took a shower, and when I came out of the shower, he gave me a pair of his brief underwear to put on, and I laid back down and went to sleep. He would encourage me to touch him, but I, I resisted, and there were times that I just pretended to be asleep. You know, I'm not gonna, I didn't want to engage, I can tell you that. I, I just wanted to survive it. For decades, they say they didn't talk about it, not to each other or anyone else. Last month, though, triggered by seeing one-time Chicago area priest and recently named Cardinal Wilton Gregory on the news, the first brother to come forward who blames his past drug abuse and incarceration on the pain from abuse, wrote a four-page letter to Flager with accusations and a demand for $20,000. I asked for money because I had a plan. When I prayed, about this and how I was going to do this. If he sent me some money, that was an admission of guilt. That was going to be how I was going to have proof. He didn't even answer. Outside St. Sabina today, a team of parishioners supportive of Flager saying that the ask for money amounts to extortion. I hang out here at the rectory on a weekly basis and not once have I felt uncomfortable or seen anything that would make me question this man's character. We've gone on vacations together. I mean, I've been around this man for 45 years and never has he touched me inappropriately. Never has he given me an inappropriate handshake. Never has he given me an inappropriate hug. Yes. This man has done nothing but yes. give give love to everyone yes. he comes that's around. Right. That's and that's right. the only thing that he's guilty of is having a great big heart. Yes. And unfortunately, when you have a huge heart, people take advantage of that oh, sometimes. Yeah. And so I'm just here to support him in any and every way possible. The brothers with their attorney. Because they want Father Flager to tell the truth are seeking compensation from the Archdiocese, which has removed Flager from ministry while it conducts an investigation. What my clients have gone through is absolute hell. They deserve to be compensated for what they've gone through. Something yet to be answered as supporters stand by their beleaguered leader. I love you. We love you. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And we got you. Through his attorneys, Father Flager denies the allegations, his attorneys calling this a shakedown.